Snapper. You want the footstool? <laughs> do you? <laughs> yeah, I think you do, watch. See? You think there's only magic in your movie? There's magic right here on the show. I'm very, very impressed. Thank you very, very much. Now, how old are you, honey? I'm 11. You're 11, and you? 13. 13. And is this your first film, either of you? Um, yeah, definitely for me. Your first one? Yeah. Yeah. You as well? Yeah, I'd just been doing, like, school plays and stuff. Oh, yeah, so you had never been on the on the big screen? No. No, so how'd you get the part? You first, but how'd you get the part? Um, well, I was watching News Round one day, and, um, at the time I was, like, the biggest Harry Potter fan, and I loved the books. Yeah. Um, so I was watching News Round, and they said that they knew how to audition. They said you had to send in some information about yourself and a photograph. So I sent one in and waited weeks and weeks for a pie. But nothing happened. So um, I went on the usual website, and some of the kids had been sending in videotapes of themselves reading a bit of the books. And um, I really wanted to be in this film, so I made this videotape. First, I just, I was my drama teacher, who was a girl, so it was kind of scary. <laughs> so you dressed up as a woman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> um, then I made this rap song of how much I wanted to be in the film. Yeah. Yeah, then I made this speech thing up for Ron and sent it in to the casting agency and she phoned me up and said, would you like an audition? And it was just so cool. And you, so you got it. So your advice to young kids who want to act, dress up as a woman and yeah. send it a tape. <laughs> yeah, Rupert. Now, what did your family think? You're the oldest of five kids? Yeah. What was, did your, what'd your parents think? Oh, they were just really excited. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they were all big fans of the books as well, so... That must have been uh, thrilling because you had never yeah. done anything and they said, you're the guy. Yeah. How about you, honey? How did you get cast in this? Oh, my boys. My story is so boring. Um, my school put me forward for an audition. Um, they kind of, a couple of auditioners went around the country to all the different schools and said, do you have any auditioners? I, I reckon there was about 16 of us all together from 10 to 12. Um, and literally, we just did it in our school gym, nothing fancy. It was, it was exactly like a drama lesson. That was it? Yeah. And had you done plays in school and stuff? Yeah, I've done loads of school plays. It's pathetic and racy. It's uh, not pathetic. That's how you start. Exactly. You know, I was Glenda the Good Witch in second grade. Look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jan Brenner got to be Dorothy, and I'm still upset about it. <laughs> 1972. <laughs> now, um, listen, you're, you're very similar to your character I read in some of the interviews. Is that true? You're like... A, Look at the boys Ooh. nodding, yes. Because <laughs> Hermione's sort of a smart, kind of a, I don't want to say loud mouth, because you're only 11, but I want to say articulate, <laughs> verbose, okay. sort of young lady. Um, I enjoy school. Yes. But I'm not obsessed with school. That's kind of the difference between us. Yeah. Are you good at school? You get good grades? Um, I'm kind of averagey. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You bullied the boys on the set, I heard. We didn't say yeah, that. We, didn't we say did that. not say that. <laughs> Is this true? They die afterwards, by the way. Um, <laughs> maybe a little. Yeah, like pranks? Like, what did you do? Were you just tricks or...? Um, pretty good pranks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Any 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 fun ones you could tell us? Did you, like, hide their stuff or...? Um, no. It's, it's, it's a really pathetic one, but it was actually very funny at the time. Um, Esna, who is our hair lady, has, it's like a printout machine, and it comes, she's got so much equipment that she needs to, like, name stuff. So, um, it comes out as a sticker. I took down about 20 of these, pull my hair for 150, kick me, um, punch me, and kind of stuck them on people's backs, and, and we Oh, that's good, that's a good prank. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they didn't notice for, like, 20 minutes, which was really funny. <laughs> yeah. And do people kick you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. On one movie I did, you know, the costume lady was really mad at me, so she sewed all my uniforms and the baseball thing, all the hands closed. So she was so mad, I put on my outfit to get in, and I had no arms. And they were all just laughing and pointing. Went back to my trailer, they took everything out of my trailer. Because I was like you. I used to trip, pinch, pull. <laughs> you know, you get That's bored, you Emma, right? Exactly. You get bored, you have to do something. This is my excuse. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, Rupert, do you think I would have been a good mom for you? Because, you know, I called Chris Columbus and begged. Yeah. <laughs> I begged. Did you know this? Yeah. I called him up. I said, Chris, I'll do it for free. I'll do anything. I have to be Ron and Ginny's mother. He <laughs> said, you can't. You're not British. <laughs> and I said, I can do day mad. No, he didn't care. <laughs> but, you know, after seeing the movie, I think it works well that everybody is there. Authenticity, don't you think? Yeah. And Julie, she's an amazing, educating Rita.
can't beat that. Well, all three of you are brilliant in this movie. You should be very proud of yourselves. Cool. You're going to have to deal with autographs the rest of your lives. I hope you're all right with that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to take a break, come back with Hagrid, Robbie Coltrane, after this message. So don't go away. Right. <laughs>